You've probably seen those mind-blowing documentary videos with insane editing, 3D movements, slick VFX, and stunning assets that perfectly match the video's vibe. One channel that nails this style is Magnates Media. But guess what? I've cracked the code, and today I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve this in three simple steps. So stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll be ready to create these jaw-dropping effects yourself. Let's kick things off with the most critical step, planning. If you want to succeed in anything, you need a solid plan, and editing is no exception. Start by drawing or writing a storyboard for every shot you want to bring to life. Be specific about the effects and techniques you'll use. In most cases, you'll be working with 3D movements, which can get tricky without a clear plan. Here's an example of one page of a storyboard I created. Notice how I've detailed the effects, techniques, and 3D movements I'm going to use. With a precise storyboard, you're not just winging it you're executing a vision. Next up is creating or finding the assets for your video. Trust me, this step can make or break your edit. Assets are the images and elements you'll animate in After Effects, and finding the right ones can be a real headache, especially if you're aiming for a consistent style throughout your video. But here's the game changer, AI. We can now generate custom assets in any style with just a quick prompt. Let's hop over to Leonardo AI, a tool that makes asset creation ridiculously easy. Pick a style, type your prompt, and boom, you've got unique assets ready to download and import into After Effects. It's fast, it's efficient, and it keeps your project cohesive. Now that you've got your assets, it's time to bring them to life through animation, especially your characters. Start by placing your assets in the composition, then isolate the one you want to animate. Here's how. Click this point right here, then use the Puppet Pin tool to add pins around the body parts. Remember, those pins need to make sense anatomically, or you'll end up with a monstrosity instead of a smooth animation. Once your pins are in place, select a pin and hit U to reveal the keyframes. Now skip a few frames forward, move the body part, and voila! You've got your first animation. But wait, it looks stiff and awkward, right? No worries, there's a one-click fix. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 to apply easy ease. Now play it back. Finally, the big one. 3D camera and movements. This step is where most people get frustrated because it can be time consuming, especially when you're juggling tons of layers in your timeline. So let's tackle this the traditional way first. Create a 3D camera by right clicking on the layer panel and selecting 3D camera. Then convert all your layers to 3D to make sure they respond to the camera's movements. You'll want to enable the second view and switch it to custom view. From here, you can push your layers back, scaling the background to fit the frame. Now let's animate the camera. Select it, hit P for position values and focus on the Z axis for depth. Set up a simple zoom out by adjusting the Z value and add rotation by hitting R and tweaking the Z axis rotation. Make sure the position and rotation values sync up or you'll get some weird results. Don't forget to apply easy ease to all keyframes for that polished look. But here's the thing, it's a tedious process and you're going to have to do this multiple times. That's where my plugin 3D5 Pro comes in. It automates the entire 3D scene setup with just one click. No more manual camera creation or layer positioning. It's all done for you in seconds. And yes, I know you noticed the add shake button. That's right. You can even add realistic shake to your scene with one click. Check out this animation. It's the same result as before, but done in a fraction of the time. The link to this plugin will be in my description, so if you want to save hours while still keeping the quality, you know what to do. Now, just pre-comp everything, add some post-processing effects and overlays, and you're done. And there you have it. A complete breakdown of how to recreate those epic documentary editing styles. But hold on, there's even more. If you've seen some of Magnates Media's videos, you've probably noticed those massive 3D scenes that really take the visuals to the next level. Honestly, I could make a whole video just on that. But here's the catch, you'll have to subscribe and share this video as much as possible if you want me to dive into those advanced techniques. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more editing secrets. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post daily tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.